This is the reality of living in a creator house. Honestly, I was super skeptical when I moved into Launch House. Basically, it's a bunch of founders in a house in Beverly Hills making shit, building things. Since I'm working on a project with NFTs, I thought it'd be great to build my startup in this collective house. Absolutely nobody's sitting by me. Who needs them? Those, those people. We have a group now. This is what actually happened. Launch House Web3 Residence. What's up, guys? We are here at Launch House. It's actually, fun fact, Paris Hilton's old house. You get the view of the city while eating olives? Yep. Olives? It's Paris Hilton's house. She filmed cooking with Paris in the kitchen. Wait, actually? Yeah. We could do yeah. cooking with crypto if you want. <laughs> oh, <laughs> can we do my channel? Yeah. yeah. The issue is there's absolutely no cell service, right? Right, Alex? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing that might happen is you might lose self-service. Yeah, I know. But what type of content house doesn't have Wi-Fi? Well, it's not the house's fault. Basically, Launch House and a lot of the houses in Beverly Hills are on a hill. So naturally, there's a lack of cell service and connection. You cannot take a single meeting driving up this road or calling somebody. It just cuts out, which is a little bit ironic for a TikTok creator house. How good is the cell service here? It's terrible. Sure. That's why I actually like to do my meetings in person at Launch House. I like to bring people at the house because then we can have a face-to-face -face conversation looking at the hills and not worry about the Wi-Fi connection. Taking calls here is an absolute mess, but I just want to show you the vibes. Beautiful this view. This is kind of like MTV Chris. I know, I know. <laughs> Quick tour of Launch House. This is my desk. I'm sitting in the corner. No one's here with me. The second thing I ran into was a little bit of awkward beginnings. Um, absolutely nobody's sitting by me, but that's okay. I'm just gonna do some solid work. Who needs them? <laughs> I think this is so normal, especially when meeting 30 new housemates that you've never seen before or talked to. I definitely clung to the edge of the walls at the beginning when networking, but over time, I just started to act like everyone in the house was already my friend. And that's actually my biggest tip. If you're someone who is a little nervous when meeting people, just act like you already know them. I know that's really scary to do and it takes an extreme amount of confidence, but just fake it until you make it. Most often or not, people are, you know, feeling more comfortable when you're also comfortable with yourself. The third thing that I ran into was taking advantage of the community snack drawer. You don't know how many times that I get really hangry before my meetings and I need a little something, something, and boom, I walk into the community snack drawer. Yay! Endless amount of snacks. <gasps> Communal snacks. <laughs> Uh, sometimes it's a hit or miss. The fourth thing that happens living in a creator house is a lot of small talk and it's really important to embrace it. Hey, -o. hey what's up, dude? What's up? Welcome what? to cooking with Philippe. Ooh, yeah. what are you making? We got cooking. mushrooms, Ooh. we got salmon, we got tomatoes, we got it all here. We should do cooking with crypto. Okay. Um, we need to do that. <laughs> this is how web three people eat. Obviously, only the best. What is he eating? Yes. You don't want to know. This is not web three food. It's so web two. Are you like at the web two cohort? Yeah. I actually love talking to my house members in the kitchen. It's so chill when people are cooking because you get to know people personally, not just professionally. And I think that's the key with making good relationships. Me and Erin are on a walk. We were yeah. just on a stroll because we both had just a long day at the house. Long day. And now we're walking up this big hill. The fifth thing that happens at a crater house in Beverly Hills is the hills. Again, not only does it cause issues with Wi-Fi connection, but say you want to take a trip or a little sidewalk walk, you're going to be walking up a lot of hills and mountains. I was like dying of sweat walking with a house member because it's like 90 degrees. You are literally on a 45 degree incline and it's really hot. I just went on a walk. Ugh. Don't do that in the middle of the heat. Yeah, it's really hilly and Ugh. more of a bodybuilding exercise. Yeah, I feel like I just want to CrossFit. The sixth thing that happens at a creator house is a lot of meetings. We kind of went through a few mood boards. Okay, okay. So far, our slogan, we're still working on it, is gonna be fight against climate change. And here's why. Climate change is such an important and big problem. Like last summer is the most mild in terms of flooding, heat waves, storms that we'll ever see from moving forward. So to help, tree planting will really help and combat climate change. It's kind of like a battle. People love boxing, right? Logan Paul, 
versus Jake Paul, whose audience can plant the most trees. So it's like a one week little campaign. Winner will get a mural painted in LA, their custom NFT community art. I am in this like cubicle room 90% of the time at the house because you can't actually take calls in the main area because you don't want it to bother other people. So I'm stuck in this cube for like all day. Um, and I'm working on this project called NF Tree, which I can go into later. But 99% of my time at Launch House is in that cube talking about NF Tree. We're on the way to our first mastermind meeting. I'm Jade. I'm working on a project called NF Tree. Involve creators into something with social impact and also make a lot of money from it. Cause right now a lot of social impact work is like not cool. It's like not sexy. You just are gonna be broke. And I think I wanna challenge that and be like, no, I think meaningful work should make a lot of money and people should be compensated for it. So I think crypto can solve that because it's from the community, right? If the community wants it, it'll get funded. My one week goal, I need to get my LLC set up, talk to my CPA about taxes. And then I guess it's just like get the boring stuff set up so we can actually approach creators. Wait, I just did the entire exercise. <laughs> Fine. Fuck. That worked. Bonus <laughs> points. No, Jade, that flowed though. Yeah. That, that flowed. It flowed right up yeah, here, yeah. so I take it back. I take it back. No, okay. you're good. Is there anything we can help you with? And the seventh thing that happens in the creator house, which is my favorite and the thing that I think is the purpose of a creator house, is that people want to help. I can't stress this enough, especially if you're a content creator or a founder, you need to be around the right people. I dropped out of high school at 16, and if I didn't have a group chat of other YouTubers and founders that supported me virtually, I probably wouldn't be able to make it five years later, four years later. <laughs> The founder circles are all about bringing us together. We're all about authenticity, going deep, getting to know each other as people before we, you know, start doing business and all that stuff. Launch House is super great because I got to meet a bunch of people also building crypto projects because this entire month is Web3 themed. So everyone's working on a project in crypto. So because I'm working on NFTs, I got a lot of feedback initially from my peer members. My question is like, could I just pitch to creators without having it? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Pitch, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. We have these things called masterminds, which is essentially where the whole house is divided into smaller groups of five and six, and we keep each other accountable each week on our goals and our work for our companies. This is like the beginning of the future of Launch House. Launch House! I am so thankful for Launch House. Honestly, I was really sketched out in the beginning, guys. But now that I've been officially in the house for about a month, I can strongly say that this is like the best experience I've ever had in terms of like collaborating with other people. It's not like a WeWork. It's not like a Y Combinator. It's literally just a community of people that live together and build cool shit in crypto and Web3. And I just, I really, really enjoy it. And it's been super fun to go to events. I've been speaking also at Launch House, hosting side events. And more to come with Launch House, I'm just really excited that I took that leap of faith. And if you guys want to check it out, I'll link their Twitter and their sign up link below. Um, so you guys can check it out for yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. A shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you guys want to be the next comment winner, comment below. I'll see you guys later. Thumbs up.